today we are going to measure liquid flow using rotameter this is flow measurement kit uh, we can see the full diagram of the rotameter kit in this you can see a pump rotameter gate valve flow sensor and a display unit and from this flow sensor uh, the water uh, or liquid comes again to the water tank you can see a water tank here filled with water and a pump that is submersion pump of 230 volt ac pump inside the water uh, from this uh, a gate valve is fixed and the gate valve should be open slightly to avoid the uh, motor submersion motor from damage and here is the rotometer that is made up of uh, acrylic material inside a uh, pin is a needle is uh, fixed in this uh, needle a small uh, pin is sliding up and down this helps to measure the liquid flow in lph liquid per hour and here is the uh, flow sensor this flow sensor is fixed after the gate valve this helps to Uh, helps the flow of water to measure the flow of uh, water uh, in the display unit uh, in the front pan panel in the front panel you can see in the front panel and from in this experiment you can take three readings one from the rotometer that is mechanical reading in lph uh, from 0 to 250 lph and another reading uh, using flow sensor that is voltmeter reading that is voltage using a multimeter in the two terminals and from the two terminals you can take and another reading using the flow sensor that is the display uh, reading this shows the display reading of the water flow Uh, water flow uh, thus from this experiment you can take three readings one mechanical reading in the lph from rotometer another voltmeter reading and now going to the experiment switch on the kit first of all switch on the uh, submersion motor switch now you can see in the rotometer a small pin is moving up and down by adjusting the gate valve back side you can take the uh, corresponding reading so you adjust the gate valve uh, so that the value is 240 240 lph that is lph means liquid per hour uh, now you can see the display reading uh, from the sensor that is 245 and you can see the voltage across the two pin uh, set it as dc voltage you, you are getting 4.90 for and 91 or 91 and 2 4.92 r1 you can note down any reading oh, plus or minus and going to the second reading bring the rotometer to the another position that is 180 180 now you can see the uh, sensor display is 178 and the voltage across that pin is 3.54 okay you can take three more readings for 150 lph 100 lph 70 lph and 50 lph and you can take corresponding reading uh, in 
using voltmeter and the display unit thus the flow of water uh, through the rotometer is calculated and concluded